of their car says here. Something a bit different in this video today. Which recently acquired this uh, vintage Chinaman lamp. Um, and I'm going to be uh, doing a bit of uh, re-gluing and putting a new cable in it. Let's take a closer look. So we're a bit closer now and it's a ceramic figure on a wooden base with a metal lamp fitting. Um, he's having a few problems with his hand and the strap for his basket. Uh, his hand's been off and the strap is broken, at least there, maybe on his hand as well. So what I'm going to try and do is, is take them off and then re-glue them um, a bit tight and be, be, make it tidy it up a bit, you know, because um, there's glue everywhere. And he's, yeah, he's up there, look. I'm just going to put some acetone on, see if that softens up the glue. This lamp is going to be sort of 1920s um, from the look of the switch on the lamp part. Right, I wonder if... No. So, now, upon second thoughts, I don't think I would get it much better than that if I took it off. I think perhaps I'll just leave it like that, because it's not too bad at all like that. And I think if I try and take his hand off and that off, I could make it worse. So, best leave that alone. So um, I'm going to move on to the um, electrical side of the lamp. Now this lamp 
as I mentioned before, has got this type of switch on it, which is sort of circa 1920s. And it has been rewired before because it's got a fairly modern plug on it, a fairly modern uh, cord on it, but it's only a two core, live and neutral. Now the problem is that the electricity runs up, or the, the electric wire runs up this part into the bulb holder, and this is metal. So this part should be earthed. Um, if something were to go astray in there and the live touched this uh, this metal part and you touch it, you're going to get a shock. But if it's earthed, that won't happen. So this cable has got to go. Now I'm going to leave the figure on here because there's a, a, a thing there. It could be a, a probably a screw, and I've tried undoing it, and it's it does turn, but it gets very tight either which way you turn it. So I've I don't want to risk doing any damage to the figure, so I'm just going to leave it on and try and be as careful as I can. Right, yeah, that is a that's ceramic um, insert in there. So, what I need to do is Just simply going to cut that cable there. And we can pull this straight out. So we've got this switch there. either way right cleaning that switch really mm -hmm. someone's tried that before and had no success like I'm having no right so now what I really need to do is find some way of attaching an earth to this part here. Um, I think what initially springs to mind is to solder the earth directly on to that back plate. Um, yeah. Just at the top in there, there should be enough room because that switch there's a lot of vacant space there. So I've got a new bulb uh, and I've got a vintage plug. This is um, a Bakelite plug. So, uh, and then I've got this brand new vintage style wire. Um, it's got the modern, I bought this on eBay, it's got the modern colour codes in it with uh, compliant um, inner wires there and it should suit this lamp really nicely. So... First thing to do is feed this up. There we go. 
go. No, messed that up. Didn't feed it through the hole there first. So I've got a fair amount there, I can pull any excess back through. Um, now, I think I'm going to deal with the earth first. So I'm going to grind away some of the metal, actually, I might do it on the bottom, I think that would be better. Mm. It's not going to fly. I'm not actually trying to remove metal, I'm just um, getting rid of the oxi oxi oxidization. Okay, should be able to get solder onto that. That's it. Okay. Just give that a second to cool down. So the cable's back through. Gotten. I had this massive soldering iron, so that sh should make it easier.
dry it. Okay, that's dry. That is not coming off. Okay, good. So that's well on there. Now. then is put the live and the neutral on I've also polished up the contacts there. Now, what I need to do is pull the cable back through. looks awfully close to the outside of the holder but probably be all right we can obviously check before you do anything what I usually do with this wire is put a cable tie around it to stop it unraveling when you're working with it Right then, so I've got a multimeter here and set it on continuity. Switch it on first, might help. Okay, so first let's check that this metal bit is earthed. is making a very bad contact.
So I've just had to polish back this brass, back to shiny brass to get continuity on it. Because this, the oxidized, oxidization on there is not allowing a contact, but when it's bare metal, we know that it's good. Um, I've also done the same just at the top on the bulb holder. Yeah, that's good. So it's just not oxidization so thick. Right, good. Now then, that's shorted to earth as well. What we're also interested in is if any of the internal pins are shorted to earth. No. And no. Check these aren't short. No. Okay, I think we're good. So now I'm going to put the plug on. What have we got in here? Three amps, fine. Just check the fuse isn't blown.
No, don't forget. Cable tie around there to act as strain relief. Give it some more tests with the meter, nice shiny patch. Yeah, reverse standing on the pin, and up the top. Yeah, Just check nothing shorted. Seems okay. Plug it in and see if it works. No. Disappointed. Conclude there's something wrong with that switch. Damn. Uh, split it open and have a look at it. So I've had this apart again, and what I've done is I've shortened the earth lead and resoldered it. So um, it, this now fits a bit better. As you can see, I've got it working. And the switch works. And I'll show you what the problem was. Initially, um, in the early part of the video, I looked in here and this pin was very close to the outer edge, to the uh, uh, kit, the bulb holder itself. Now I thought it'd be all right because when you put the bulb in, it pushes it down, so it pushed this away from the case. But I think because it was so skewed that the contacts on the bulb weren't making contact with the pins at all. Um, so what I've done is 
I've taken a couple of strips of cable tie and I've put them in there which has made the bulb holder the, the bulb connector central so now when I put this back on you can see that the pins are well away now from there and the most square and central so we we'll put a bulb in there we are it's working so I just want to show you why this problem has occurred with this ceramic part the contact part not being central there's two indents there now normally the bulb holder part would go over that and hold and hold it sort of straight and and align the socket with the pins correctly but as you can see there are two indents in there but they're not engaging with the holder with with the um, the contact part now I, don't, now I don't know whether bits have been changed it doesn't look like it but that I think is why we're having a, we were having a problem with it um, and packing it out with the, those, those strips of plastic has just resolved the problem now the only other problem then is you need to manually align this so that when the bulb goes in it contact makes correct contact with the pins inside so you have to line that up yourself um, don't know I can't explain that but um, it's all figured out now anyway so I do have a shade for this I think it's the original shade put it on it's sort of a balloon umbrella umbrella rather type shade The shade is a bit dirty, um, but it's just there and round there and there. But it's not got any holes in it, and it's in reasonable, reasonably good condition. Um, I'm tempted to clean it, but I don't think I will because I don't want to ruin it. Finding a replacement shade for this lamp will be very difficult. So yeah, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.